Welcome back to Weeb Nation. Today I'll be going over the top 5 anime where the overpowered MC is the worst rank. In number 5, we have Unbreakable Machine Doll. While Pergus Royal Academy of Machinery is the place to be if you want to learn how to control magical mechanical dolls called automatons. But don't be fooled, it's not just some harmless hobby. Militaries worldwide are incorporating the technology into their armies. Unfortunately, our protagonist Ration and his trustworthy automaton Yeya failed their entrance exam miserably. But don't count them out just yet. They have another shot at redemption by defeating one of the top 100 students in the evening party. A no hands barred brawl where puppeteers and the automatons battle it out for supremacy. The winner gets the title Wiseman and access to powerful forbidden arts. Determined to overcome the tragedies of his past, Ration and Yeya fight tooth to the nail to climb their way up to the top and claim the title of the Wiseman. It's a battle for the ages with plenty of magic, mayhem, and mechanical madness. In number 4, we have Dead Man Wonderland. Ganta and his classmates are psyched for a field trip to the infamous prison amusement park Dead Man Wonderland. But instead of enjoying the sights and sounds of criminal shenanigans, Ganta's class is massacred by a red chat killer. To make matters worse, Ganta is framed for the crime and sentenced to the very prison he was supposed to visit. Now our hero is trapped in a twisted world of sadistic inmates and deadly powers. But that's not all. Ganta got a collar around his neck that'll zap him into oblivion if he loses the prison's brutal games. So talk about pressure. It's not all doom and gloom though. Ganta is determined to clear his name and find the red man who ruined his life. But navigating this harsh world isn't easy, and Ganta must always watch his back, cause no one is who they seem. In number 3, we have Star Driver. Deep below the surface of the Southern Cross Isles lies the Glittering Crux Brigade, a shady group with a singular obsession, Psybodies. These giant stones can transform into massive fighting machines, but only in the mysterious realm of zero time. But their plan's about to hit a speed bump when Takuda washes up on the island shore. He quickly befriends Sugata, and his fiancée Wako is actually one of the island seal maidens, and he enrolls at their school. Little does anyone know, Takuto's got a secret up his sleeve. He's got his own Sai body. As Takuto gets tangled up with the glittering crux and the island secrets, he must fight to protect Wako's seal and keep the Sai bodies out of the crux's clutches. But with his trusty Sai body by his side, Takuto is ready to take on anything that comes his way. In number 2, we have Baka and Tess, Summon the Beast. Welcome to Fumizuki Academy, where intelligence is everything. Well, almost everything. Akihisa finds himself at the bottom of the barrel in F class after a test divided the student body from A to F. And let's just say F class isn't living a high life. With outdated equipment, worn out furniture, and lack of facilities, they're the laughing stock of the school. But when Akihisa's genius friend Mizuki and classmate Yuji join the fray, F class isn't taking their lowly status lying down. They've got a trick up their sleeves, the examination summon battle system. By summoning fantasy characters based on their test scores, F class plans to take down the high ranked students and snag their privileges. Can they climb their ranks and claim victory? Or will they forever be stuck at the bottom? In number 1, we have Megalobox. Set in a futuristic world where boxing has evolved into a high-tech sport known as Megalobox. The story follows a young underground fighter named Junt Dog, who is forced to throw matches to make a living. However, his life changes when he's crossed paths with the reigning Megalobox champion Yuri. After being defeated by Yuri in a single round, Junk Dog is inspired to enter the Mangalonia tournament which will determine the strongest Megaloboxer in the world. With the help of his trainer and the backing of a criminal syndicate, Junk Dog now going by the name of Joe begins his climb from the bottom to the top of the rankings in order to face Yuri once again. As he faces off against increasingly difficult opponents, Joe must not only prove himself as a skilled fighter but also confront his past and identity. Thanks again for watching today's top 5 anime where the overpowered MC is the worst rank. If you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. Also leave a comment in the comment section what you'd like to see next. I'll see y'all fellow weebs in the next video.